So last week we learned all about Jesus and the disciples and the special meal that they all had together. Now remember, these aren't just stories. These are all out of God's word. These are all written in the Bible for us to learn about. So I wonder, have you ever been out anywhere and it's been really, really dark? Well, the disciples decided that they would go with Jesus as he went to pray. Now he went to a special garden and he went ahead of the disciples and he told them, just you all pray here and I'll go on a wee bit ahead. So Jesus went on ahead and Jesus sat and prayed by himself. Now we all know how important it is to pray because we're talking to God and we're talking to our Father God because Jesus said that he is the Father of all of us. So Jesus was sitting praying and he went back to the disciples to talk to them and they all fell asleep. So Jesus woke them all up and he said, right, come on, I want you all to pray with me. He says, so you keep on praying and I'll go over here and pray by myself. So Jesus went over and he was sitting praying by himself and left the disciples. And a wee while later he came back again and the disciples had fell asleep again. So he woke them up again and Jesus told the disciples, come on, come on, wake up. You should be sitting praying, you shouldn't be sleeping. And Jesus left them again and he went over and he was praying by himself again. So the third time Jesus went over to the disciples and they were all sleeping again. And this time he was a wee bit, a wee bit hurt maybe because the disciples weren't praying when he asked them to. And he woke them all up and he said, something's gonna happen because Jesus knew that Judas was going to come up with a load of soldiers and arrest him. But he didn't want to frighten the disciples and he just woke them all up and he turned around and said, right, come on, come on, you have to wake up now, you have to wake up now. So Judas arrived with all these soldiers then to arrest Jesus. And Jesus knew that this was God's plan. And Jesus had been praying and asking God, if there was any other way that he didn't have to die on the cross, that God would take the other way. But there was no other way. And Jesus knew that. So Judas came up and kissed Jesus on his cheek. Because remember, it would have been very, very dark. There was no street lamps. There was no car lamps. It would have been extremely dark. And make sure that they were going to arrest the right man, Judas had to kiss Jesus on the cheek. So when Judas kissed Jesus on the cheek, some of the disciples who seen the soldiers got very annoyed and very, very angry. And one of the disciples got a big sword out and cut off the ear of one of the high priests who was there to make sure that Jesus was arrested. And when he did this, Jesus said, why, why did you do that? You shouldn't have done that. And Jesus healed the man's ear. Isn't that amazing that Jesus had so much love for everybody on this earth, for all people, even if they're naughty, that Jesus is willing to forgive them and that Jesus healed this man's ear. So Jesus was arrested. Jesus was taken and put on trial and the crowd all shouted for the other men to be let go. So the high priests and the Romans, they all let the other man go and Jesus was going to be crucified. Throughout this lesson, I want you to remember that Jesus loves us so much, even when we're naughty, that he continuously loves us. And I also want you to remember every day to speak to God in prayer. 
Now, why is that so important? Well, if you don't speak to your mommy or your daddy for a wee while, you do miss them. And God is our Heavenly Father. And if we don't talk to him, he misses us too. Well, for anybody that hasn't got a pack, we're just going to draw praying hands onto part of the cross. So I decided to put mine on this side. And so I've just put in a sleeve. I've already coloured this in. And then I've put on hands with four fingers. so have um, so then to make it look like it's hands together like this I'm just going to draw another finger on here and make it look like two sleeves but I'm sure that yours will be much better than mine but that will give you a wee idea of what to do so if you have a pack what you're going to do is we're going to cut out with the help of an adult your praying hands. And again, yours will be much better than mine. I'm only doing this quickly. <laughs> so there we go. And then I'm going to make my sleeves blue. So then I'm going to stick it over here. Now, so the first week we were talking about the palm branches and Jesus coming into Jerusalem on the donkey and everybody waving palm leaves. Then last week we were talking about the Last Supper, the special meal that Jesus had with his disciples and they had bread and wine and that's why we have communion. And today we've been talking about Jesus praying in the garden of Gethsemane just before the soldiers came and took him away so I'm putting mine on here but it's up to you where, where you want to put yours and how you're going to decorate your cross because I'm sure yours is far far better than mine because I know that a lot of yous are very good artists so there we go so we have the praying hands and then next week we're going to finish our crosses off and put on something else. But before you go, I just wanted to remind you about your stones. So everybody has a stone in your pack and you can decorate it whatever way you want. But I would like you to decorate them with something to do with Easter. So this stone... I'm going to decorate and I'm going to put on it. I think I just put on it, God is love or God loves you. Something like that. Come from the Sharpie. There's... Right. And again, you could maybe paint it or you could do something else with it. And then I'm suggesting that you take these stones and you leave them. For somebody else to pick up another boy or girl or maybe somebody that will see it that needs it maybe feel a bit sad and they think that maybe that God still loves them or 
that this is a special message for them. So, yours will be far better than mine. God. Can't find any of my pens today. And then I'm going to put in a heart. Colour it in. And then I'm just going to put in a U instead of writing the word U. Why some people doing their text messages. So that's God loves you. Well, I hope you're enjoying the crafts and I hope you're enjoying everything we're doing. And I hope to see some of the things that you're making or some of the things that you are decorating as well. Maybe I'll see one of your stones somewhere whenever I go for a walk. Well, I hope you're all enjoying the videos and I hope that you're all really having good fun with the worksheets and getting the wee treats whenever you um, do all the worksheets. If you don't have time to do them all, you can keep them for a rainy day or over the Easter holidays. Maybe during the Easter holidays as well, you'll be able to leave your stone somewhere if you're going out for a lovely walk. We're just all going to pray together. Now, I hope you boys and girls remember to pray every day because it's not nice whenever you don't speak to your mom or your dad or somebody you love and you begin to miss them. Well, God's the same when we don't pray to him. So I encourage you all to pray to God every single day. So we're going to say the prayer together and I hope you'll remember it. It's the Lord's Prayer and we learnt it in Sunday school a couple of years ago and we say it every week when we're in church as well so if you don't remember maybe your mum and dad can help you as well so let's pray together so hands apart together and under your chin our Father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.